Hey, great morning, great morning. It's Wednesday. And it is another amazing day. We're here. <laughs> we are here. I'm getting started a little bit later this morning. I had to do some extra. I did do some writing this morning. I have uh, something in particular weighing heavy on my heart right now. And so um, I needed to kind of get that out a little bit. And it involves someone else. So I'm not going to disclose that information in detail. But uh, let's just say when, and some of you might feel this too, when someone close to you is going through a situation and you feel like your hands are tied because you're not able to help, like you want to help, it it can pull, it can, it can really pull on you. Um, it pulls on me. <laughs> so, um, uh, yeah, I did write a prayer this morning. Um, before I get into that, just, uh, just want to make sure that we thank, thank God for waking us up again today. And I do write that later on, but, uh, I realized in my writing this morning, I actually realized this later in, in the writing but I did not start with a gratitude in my writing. I did start with gratitude in my day though. So when I woke up this morning and my thoughts began to kind of <laughs> start, I had to recenter and um, say thank you for waking me up and thank you for another day and thank you for breath. And I had to go back to that. So um, yesterday I did a video where I was released. <laughs> um, they call it discharged. <laughs> it's like being out of the military now. Uh, discharged from EMDR, which is the trauma therapy that I've been going through. I don't even remember when I started. I guess when I look at my records, it'll remind me, but it was either August or October. I don't know why, but for some reason that's all blurry. Um, actually, I do know why it was a pretty, um, very difficult time that I was going through. Um, I was actually allowing myself to be sucked into a situation that I should have never been involved in. And during that time as well, um, actually two situations. <laughs> uh, and that's when I found out that I really needed boundaries with my emotions um, because I can easily get too passionate about something, someone, I can care too much. And in that, it can really have a ne negative effect on me. So I have to be very careful with that. And during that time, I was allowing myself to just go down that path because that was an easy path for me to take it was habitual and um, before I knew it it was too late and and I had already been involved so I was able to pull myself out of one situation and then the other situation it was not so easy to pull myself out of um, and I still struggle with that I'm not gonna sit here and say that oh, it's magically disappeared because it's definitely not I still struggle with that but is that awareness that really helps me now so yesterday i was discharged um we worked through all of those things we worked through me being getting too attached and it was a lot of really just the fact that i didn't have a lot of closure in my life um you know people passed away left my life and there was no closure there was no reason it was just it is what it is. And that was really difficult for me to accept that. Um, to accept that response of it is what it is. <laughs> um, but it is. It is. It is what it is. <laughs> it's reality. And sometimes there's just nothing you can do about it. So we have to just go with the flow and let things be as they are. And just know that we did our best with what we had. Um, 
<clears throat> I know that during that time, it was very difficult for me to communicate my feelings correctly. I didn't really know what my feelings were. I was very lost um, because there was so many, so many feelings and emotions coming up at one time that I really just had no idea how to direct any of it. And so I was directing it in, dif in different directions that it should have never went. Um, but I can't go back in time. So all I can do is press forward and learn from those things. And that's what I'm doing now. Um, but yeah, so I woke up with a heart heavy heart. I have uh, my sister, I call her my sister. She is my sister. Stubborn as all get out, love her to death. We're both stubborn. I'm just as stubborn. Well, I don't think I'm as stubborn. <laughs> no, I love her, but there's a situation that she's going through and she's being faced with um, being homeless again. This isn't the first time and I can't help her financially. I can't do anything other than what I'm already doing and I have to be okay with that. And it's tough. And I want to, that's why I'm working so hard now because, you know, it's funny, we were asked yesterday about our aspirations, our motivation, like what, what motivates us in real estate. And this is one of the things, like I'm tired of having to sit back and let things be. You know, if I can do something, if I can help someone in need, someone who I, I know that I'm meant to help, then I want to be able to do that. I'm tired of not being able to do that. And so that's really my biggest pusher right now in everything that I'm doing, whether it's my book or, you know, getting into speaking, doing workshops, trying to partner with people, um, collaborate, I should say. All of these things are for one mission and one mission alone. And that's to be able to support those who I know and love. Because she doesn't deserve any of this. Um, in my prayer this morning, I did ask for the Lord's forgiveness because um, I can get busy throughout the day. I'm not around people who involve the Lord all day throughout the day. And so it's up to me to do that. Uh, it's up to me to lead in that area. And I've been falling short because, you know, they'll bring different stuff. And I can look at all the things that I have to get done and during the day. And, and then the day's over and I'm like, oh, wow, I didn't even involve the Lord today. Um, but I did ask him because they're... I got a phone call yesterday as well, and uh, I get these phone calls a lot, but for some reason this one hit me a little bit differently. Um, but it's basically investing in marketing for my book, which I don't have. I don't have any marketing for my book. It's me. Um, I'm the marketing, and that's not working out very well. And so um, I'm really just praying about that because I know that if this is something that I'm supposed to do that the Lord will provide the investment amount for me to do it. And I need to know something today. Um, if he doesn't let me know anything today, then I guess I just got to wait. But uh, I did ask him to show me a clear sign. Because I'm not, I'm just, I'm not try trying to chase shiny things anymore. That's not even what it's about. It's about his glory and it's about to be, it's about being able to help those in, in need, those people who rely on me, whether they won't, they admit they rely on me or not, but I want to be that person that they can rely on. I want to be able to step up for them when they need, you know, especially in this situation where she needs a place to go. And there's so many people out there with just money billions of dollars and here this woman is this woman of faith this woman who doesn't give up who has more grit than most everyone that I know and here she is faced with the situation again and it's just not right and so you know I asked for the Lord to 
helped me discern today um, because this book, you know, it does have the tools for spiritual healing and wholeness. I utilized what I was learning through my spiritual journey in the book as I was writing it. It went from being a marketing tool for my health coaching to actually being a book that could really help people in a way that I never even knew it could. And that's based off of feedback that I've received so far, which I do appreciate. So thank you for those who have reached back out and let me know. Um, I don't believe that the book is just supposed to be in a box in my office waiting on people to go to my website and order it. I don't believe that at all. So um, just praying on that. So if you will join me in that prayer, I'd really appreciate it. I talk about lifting my sister up and I don't believe one bit that she and her daughter should be punished for anything. She has so much faith and she has kept this faith throughout so many hardships and I don't know what the Lord is trying to show us but we're keeping the faith and we're counting on him to show up in the middle of all of this and make it right we're asking for his favor we're asking for his mercy we're asking for a miracle we are definitely asking for a miracle um, today I also prayed for my family um, my husband has some pain that he's dealing with, pretty severe pain in his back. And I deal with a lot of back pain too, but this one was a lot more severe and it was sudden and it happens to him a lot. And so I just asked for the Lord to come in and just, you know, relieve that pain. And also for our daughter, just to keep her, <laughs> keep her on the right path because we are doing all that we can, and we're just not sure sometimes where it's going to go. And we just have to keep the faith in and know that God's got it, and that's what we've been doing. So I'm going to go over some of the verses that helped me this morning. Uh, Hebrews 11.1, 1, all of these talk about faith also. It says, now faith is the certainty of things hoped for, a proof of things not seen. Hebrews 11.6 says, And without faith it is impossible to please him, for the one who comes to God must believe that he exists, and that he proves to be one who rewards those who seek him. And Matthew 17.20 says, And he said to them, This is actually a very good verse, if you've never heard it. I hold on to this verse, actually. It says, And he said to them, Because of your meager faith, for truly I say to you, if you have the faith of the size of a mustard seed, you will say to this mountain, move from here to there, and it will move, and nothing will be impossible for you. That verse right there, I'm going to highlight that one in my writing because it has been a verse that I've held on to for so long. You know the size of a mustard seed like how even I don't even know how big a mustard seed is but I know it's super small if we just have that little tiny little tiny bit of faith he'll work the miracles and so we just have to keep believing in that and so oh, thank you for allowing me to share this morning um, I tell people, you know, every day is not easy. It's definitely not easy. It's very difficult, but I must keep doing these things that are helping me because when I don't, I unravel. I hold on to these burdens. I hold on to other people's burdens. And it's difficult for me to let them, not know, let them go, but just to give them to him. Because I'm not strong enough. I'm not strong enough to hold on to them, especially when it comes to other people's. Oh, Lord, thank you so much for allowing us to be here today. Thank you for waking us up. Thank you for another day that we can go out into the world and we can be the light for other people. Lord, help us be the light for those people who need it. Help us seek out those people who are living in the darkness and just be that person for them. Knowing that we don't have to necessarily say anything, 
but it's all about what we do and how we carry ourselves. Lord, just remind us of that throughout the day. Lord, help us come back to you when we start getting so busy and things start coming towards us all day. Remind us to be centered throughout the day. Remind us to keep you in the center. Lord, I ask that you come in and intercede for my sister. Lord, she needs an answer. She needs a sign that you're with her. She knows you're with her. She Deep down, she knows she, you're with her and she is not losing her faith. But Lord, she needs a sign. Lord, give her a sign. Lord, I ask that you show me discernment today when I get back on the phone with the woman who tells me that they will be able to make my book something that I ever imagined it could become. Lord, I need your discernment. I need your assistance with this because there's so many companies out there looking to get over on people like me. And I just hope and pray that this is not one of them. Lord, help me see that. Help me find what I need to discern. Lord, show up in my family. Take the pain away from my husband. Take the pain away from my daughter. Anything that she's experiencing in school. Remind her that it's not about how many friends or likes she has, but about who she is every single moment of every single day. Keep her centered, Lord. Lord, I ask that you will come into the lives of those who need you today. And in all reality, we all need you. We just have to be open to admitting it. Lord, come into our lives when we welcome you. Lord, remind us that you're still there. Show us signs when we need them. I know you're showing us patience and you're showing us that we have to wait on you. But Lord, sometimes it's the other people around us who aren't waiting. So we need to know. Lord, thank you so much for everything that you've provided. Thank you for the blessings that we have. In Jesus' name, amen. <sighs> Alright. Almost forgot. Today is May 11th. <laughs> and here we're talking about raising children. <sighs> Lord, you know my heart. God's encouragement. 1 Samuel 1, verses 26 through 28 says, Hannah said, I am the woman who is standing here in your presence, praying, for the, praying to the Lord. For this child I prayed, and the Lord has granted me my petition that I made, no, that I made to him. Therefore, I have lent him to the Lord. As long as he lives, he is lent to the Lord. The word lend means to give something temporarily, but Hannah was dedicating young Samuel to God for as long as he lives. That was a long time. Hannah must have had an eternal perspective, both for herself and for her little son. She realized that the time she spent here on earth was very short compared with all of eternity, and she was willing to entrust her son to God. In the same way, we know risks are inherent in raising children, but we trust our kids to God's eternal purposes and pray for his blessings on their lives. That we do. <laughs> that we definitely do. As you go out and about today, I pray that the Lord blesses you with all of his armor, but just remember to keep coming back down, and I'm going to try to remember the same. We can hold each other accountable. We can remind each other, and, you know, if you know anyone who may not be, you know, able to see this video or know that it's there, but they need to see it, please share this with them. All right. Have a great morning. It is Wednesday, Wellness Wednesday. Wednesday wisdom, whatever you want to say, and it is another day 
for us to bless others, but we have to make sure that we center ourselves first. So that's what we've done here, and now we can go about our day. God bless you. Thank you for tuning in, and have a blessed day. See you tomorrow.